Well, good afternoon, everybody. Rather droop, drippy out there, you can imagine. Uh, we did have some light rain. It was not as heavy as earlier expected, and so far we didn't have any severe weather around this region. However, it is just to the east of us. It's 75 degrees. You're thinking, what? Almost December? Well, we even got up to 77 this afternoon. We are supposed to be somewhere around 70. That's the seasonal average, but obviously it was rather warm. And why? Well, we've got a warm front that came through up from the south, brought in that Gulf air and uh, triggered the activity, but it did not collide with the frontal system. As a matter of fact, it sort of slid up north of it because this little uh, low is spinning in this fashion. So that is bringing the cooler, drier air, well, somewhat drier air from above. And this is the Gulf air that's streaming northbound. So that's why we didn't get the absolute collision that everybody was thinking we were gonna get. And uh, so we got uh, probably about a quarter of an inch here in the city and obviously much heavier stuff happening up in Houston. Now this uh, frontal system will pass our area, well, actually the combined two, uh, sometime about middle of the day, maybe about noontime tomorrow. And that will pass with a few more shower act showers. None of that is going to be or expected to be a severe weather. So that should be just, shall we say, a few more garden variety showers. And then we dry up a little bit as we head on into the weekend. Uh, here's a, another view of Doppler, and you can see the uh, big thunderstorms right down south. Uh, I guess that would be Brazoria County down there uh, and Galveston as well. But uh, all that is moving rapidly. Should be in Lake Charles uh, within the hour or two. Uh, here is Victoria. You see right there? And you see the uh, dark green which is up to a quarter of an inch. So less than a quarter of an inch in the dark green and above a quarter of an inch, almost a half in areas to the south and east. So we're talking Bloomington, Port Lavaca, uh, Vanderbilt, and on up uh, to the um, Houston County line there, or the Harris County line. And you can see that big streak up there. And you can see already they've had in uh, the average of one to two inches of rain up there. So we uh, sort of dodged a bullet. And certainly we didn't want any severe weather. Just a, a little light rain would have been good. But here's the future tracker. It moves out fairly rapidly. Some lingering showers there. That's your Friday. And then by Friday afternoon, all of that goes away. We'll get the drier air eventually, probably by Sunday, Saturday or no, by Sunday. And then uh, we'll see a little bit of sun for the early part of next week as higher pressure sort of builds in. About seven days from now, the, this map is uh, be, being um, aggressive and bringing a big tropical surge of more moisture from the south. We'll be certainly watching and waiting for that. Uh, but tomorrow, still in the 70s, before that little front comes through. And then afterwards, well, it's not really much of a front. It's only going to drop the temperature maybe 5 degrees. So 67 in the morning, cloudy with a few more showers possible, 70 the afternoon high in Port Lavaca. For those of you in Cuero, 58 in the morning, getting up to 69, and a few isolated showers possible. And here's what it looks like as we go on through. So eventually by Friday night, we'll pick up the northeast wind. That'll begin to dry us up at the surface. So we'll call it uh, mostly cloudy and breezy, with a, but only a 72 on Saturday and Sunday. And then a, a quiet period until we see what happens middle of next week. That's your seven day forecast. Uh, here's your QR code. We want you to scan that, put that uh, on your phone, and you can have Crossroads today 